So in this video, we're going to be doing a very quick overview of the action graph within Omniverse Create. And we're just going to do something simple by going play, shift T, and just kind of like let it rotate. Just to kind of get you in. Kind of like Unreal Engine blueprints. Get into it. So we're in Omniverse Create, the latest version, even though Action Graph has been around for a bit, apparently, and I just didn't notice. Picture Unreal Engine Blueprints into Omniverse. Psh. So we're going to kind of go through and set up a very simple thing. So whatever happened at the start there, I don't know, because I haven't recorded that bit yet. So let's go ahead and just start looking into this. Now, the way to bring up the Action Graph is to go into Window, Visual scripting and uh, action graph. There we go. So now we can see it. However, I actually want to be able to see more of the action graph. So I'm going to go into layout and we're going to go into visual scripting. And then this is kind of like the layout. Fair enough. Sure is. Now, first things first, I'm going to add in a cube. And this is going to be kind of like our primitive cube. We're going to be affecting this. And so if I kind of zoom in, we can see our cube. Let's now talk about the action graph a little bit. Um, let's just go into new. There we go. We've created our action graph blueprint. We're going to kind of use um, Unreal Engine terminology. So if you're an Unreal Engine person, hopefully you'll be slotting in quite nicely. I can't right click on here. I can't left click on here. I can't bring anything up. That is a feature that I'm going to be requesting very quickly after this video. I have been playing around with this now for about an hour and a half. So I'm starting to get in there and I've found a few little things that are missing. But let's kind of now go into it. Sorry. Now, I forgot. The first thing I want to do is when I press uh, Shift T, I want that cube to rotate. That's probably what happens at the start of the video. So first up, let's go into Input. Um, we can click on the node groups or come up to the top here and I can type in Keyboard on Keyboard Input. Look at this, it's a blueprint, it all makes sense. So when you click on the actual node, over here on the right hand side, you've got all the parameters. So key in, I wanna do T, Y team, I don't know. But when I press Shift T, I want something to happen. For now, I want it to just print a text. So click and drag that in there. Pressed, goes into in. Blueprints, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And I can update the text here. However, let's just jump in and create a variable over here in the top. Let's go into add new variable. This one here is going to be oop, uh, info one. And we will change that to a, oh my thighs are hurting, squatting like this and moving to the side. String default value. And this is going to be subscribe. Beautiful. There we go. Now what I can do is with that um, variable, click and drag that into here. I just want to read the information. So I don't want to write to the string. I just want to read it. Click and drag that into text. Hopefully now when I press play and we press shift T, nothing happens because I got to put to screen. So if we press play now, shift T, subscribe, okay? However, if you don't want that appearing on your screen, we can always go into console and we can choose the log level. So I want it to be a warning console. Uh, let's just clear that console. Now when we press play, shift T. Oh, you donkey. Uh, to screen, shift T, there we go. There's our warnings. Subscribe. If you haven't already, come on. But what I want to do is now affect the rotation of the cube. So in our stage, I'm going to click and drag that cube in. I want to read the attributes first. Now the specific attribute I want to read is the rotation. So under uh, the attribute name, I just want um, X form rotation X, Y, Z. Cool bananas. From here, I just wish I could click and drag it out. Let's go back into nodes. We are going to go into vector three and we want to break the vector. So click and drag that one into there. So now we've got the X, the Y and the Z. Now I want to rotate it on the Z axis. Um, so from here, let's go into add. I want to add 
let's say 30 degrees every time the rotation is there hey there we go buddy let's go ahead add another variable and this is going to be our rotation and it's going to be a float and the value is going to be 30. so if we click on that into there i would just want to read the rotation dump that one into there we need to re now recombine everything so go back into the nodes let's go into vector tree we're gonna make the vector sum add that in now this time with the cube we're not going to read the information we need to write to the information so click and drag that one in write attributes and we're going to plug that into the value and the text goes over into there with this selected now we've got to select what attribute we're affecting what attribute are we affecting hmm <laughs> let's go into attribute down the bottom here rotation xyz now when i press play please just do something shift t <laughs> look it's 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 midnight it's i've been playing with this for a while now anyway like and subscribe hopefully i'm gonna be doing some more stuff oh also one last thing if um you want to actually you look at some of the um the the, the 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 files that come with it click on samples and there's a visual scripting in here so you can kind of play with that We'll be breaking down some of these into shorter videos. I'm sorry that it's a little bit long, um, but she'll be right, mate. Hey, so it's uh, Marco from the future, but the past, because this is a video, but it's my future because I've edited the video and now I'm going, anyway, so <laughs> I kind of want to make this video eight minutes long. Um, we're just going to quickly have a brief look at this file, just kind of together by myself, but together with you, because thank you for being here for this long. I'm assuming you're subscribed, so I'm not going to ask you to subscribe. But anyway, so this is a great example of the kind of controls that can be set up. Um, oh, what's his name? Oh, Maddie, Maddie, Maddie. He uh, breaks down these quite well. Um, one of the things I really want to work out is how to spawn an object. That's my big thing. Um, we can see that we've got a timer here. We can go to the next level and it goes a little bit more complicated, so on and so forth. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how this all works. So if we go into layout and we go into visual scripting, we can see that there's actually like a ton of, there's like six. Uh, so if we go into edit, we can see all the um, actions that we've got to edit. So for instance, here, if we open up this one, you can see that we've got the on tick that's very much similar to um, Unreal Engine. How when you've got the on tick, obviously everything's going as it's uh, processing. Um, that's a bad example. Let's go to a different one. I think if I click on view, nope. We click on the little pen tool and we can go to the board level. Let's check this one out. And we can see now that it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, you can kind of go through it. It's just like a storyline, just like Unreal Engine. Up here, we've got the various ways of expanding it to make it look smaller or more compact, obviously, so you can put more information in. So that's a, little, that's a nice feature there. I don't think Unreal Engine has that one. Um, but yeah, so have a look through this. I know I'll be trying to break it down. There's certain things that I'm trying to work out because there's little bit of documentation but i want more documentation so if i have to i'll make the documentation and we will go from there but anyway thank you very much guys subscribe we're going to do more of these we are